Good day everyone. This is Brandy back. I have been on hiatus for a little while because I'm taking an online class for something professionally related and my time is not my own these days. But um, I came on to try and do a little bit of painting because I haven't done a whole lot of that lately. Today what I'm going to do is, at least for the first part, I'm going to swatch some colors. Um, I got my April Aqua Dots box probably a couple weeks ago at this point. Just haven't had a chance to do anything with it. So this is the little packaging that came. It's a pretty iris on there. Painted by Margaret from Xanadu Art Studio. On the back has all the different colors. And then the actual paints are right here, which I... I missed it there a little bit out of focus. Sorry about that. Um, so I missed them with a little bit of water. And then I'm just going to swatch them. And then hopefully, maybe later tonight, I will have a chance to get back on here and actually paint something. So that iris that I showed you right here in my Aquadot box subscription, she sent a piece of watercolor paper and a copy of the iris to trace onto here and then paint with the colors from her from the box for this week or this uh, last month April because ah, we're May already okay so here we go make sure I can just see how it is make sure you can see I'm playing around with my camera because I want to uh, try and get it so I like the configuration. That's pretty. I'm just using some inexpensive Fabriano Studio watercolor paper. This is cold press. Um, so. I've since learned better quality papers. I actually purchased a mixed sampler set from uh, Society of All Artists. They have an Amazon store. So I bought it from there. And um, it gave you there's at least 10 different um, manufacturers watercolor paper. Um, and You can pick like if you want the cold press or you want hot press or you want the rough. Oh, that's pretty. I like that because it got a little, I think, a little more pink in it. And they're imperial quarter sheets. So <laughs> it's a good price too for the amount of paper you're getting. So, um, so I've been using that and I've also just been buying sheets. Ooh, my son would love that because he loves purple. He is three. People say, what's your favorite color? He says, purple is my style. So he is a character. Um, so looking on the monitor, yeah, it's interesting on my, my camera, it looks like I can see the color differences more. This one definitely looks more pinky peachy purplish and this is more brownie purple or reddy brown purple and that's more gray brown gray purple at least to me. So, ooh, that's very pretty too. I like that. So, but yes, as I was saying, I've been buying my watercolor and sheets now and just cutting it down. So I do have some B paper. But I also have arches. And I bought 300 pounds one time by accident and it spoiled me. So now when I use 140 pound, oh, that's a really pretty blue one. Uh, when I use 140 pound watercolor paper, it just feels a little bit puny by comparison. 
little less substantial and obviously it is so I like that blue I imagine if you were making something with like obviously blueberries it would look so good so those are those now let's see I have this other um, this one right here which has like a bright coral and purple mixed so let's see how that looks uh, we'll do it up here I'm just thinking if you're trying to do something that's all in the purple family that might be something fun to mix in there see it too well in here but I do like it and I have not sure let's see let me go through my other Xanadu aquanuts watercolors and I know I have I have more that are purple so let's see maybe we can do a few of those Right here is a purple one. It's got some glitter in it. Let's see. Gosh, these do smell so good. That's pretty. I like that one. And let's see. This had some. This might be the purple graphite one. I think that's yeah. I think that might be the purple graphite. That's. I think that's really pretty too. It's got more of a purpley, like a reddish purple with a little bit of brown, maybe. And I think that's nice. So, stay tuned. I'm gonna post this one as a teaser because I think. Hopefully this weekend I will be able to make some time to paint this little, whoops, there it's upside down, this iris. So maybe I'll trace that. I have my class starting in about 45 minutes. So I've got, after today, two more weeks of this Saturday morning class online. Then I won't have that anymore. So. I'll be able to hopefully have more time to do some arting. So, all right. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this. I love the colors. I don't know if Margaret ever offers these boxes after the fact, if you really liked the colors, but you could always send her a message on Instagram if you do like the colors um, to see if she has any boxes left for the month of April. Yeah, these are... Uh, there we go. These are the April colors. So we have violet sapphire, shadow, violet hue, brilliant violet, piedmontite hue, purpura hue, and moon glow hue. So really pretty colors. All right, thank you.